and I just want to show you my technique because I've never seen it before and it makes it really easy to fillet them and debone them and you're going to get more meat out of your jackfish. And I'm going to go step by step here. And the first thing I notice when they fillet the fish, they slice through the middle here up to the butt and then, and then they cut here and then they give it a, a nice fillet. However, um, the easier way is you flick these two fins up and there's two grooves here and you pop your knife in where the white and colored part is. You pop it in there and pop it out the other side. Put your knife all the way and slide it all the way to the butt. Slide it out. You're not fighting with those fins now. You got a perfectly straight fillet. Now, when people, I've seen people fill it, they cut like this and then they fill it all the way through, which is fine. However, if you give it an extra cut, it takes you right to the backbone. So right in here, you're going to get an, an extra half inch of meat. And that extra half inch of meat, when I'm deboning, I will show you what it does. So, cut. And then when you get close to these two fins, one's higher than the other. So, cut above this fin one side and then go to over the other one and then cut all the way down to the tail end here and don't go all the way through people will cut all the way through and take the fillet off however i flick it over and i've got this to grab onto to slide the fillet to take the skin off i've got all the weight of the fillet in my hand and then if you have to leave skin for transport, that's fine, but we're gonna eat these fish right away. So there's one fillet. And here's the second one. First cut, second cut to the backbone. And then same thing. Over top of that fin, over top of that fin. Then to the end of the tail, look it over, and you've got, look at how much grip you have on this fillet now. And you're not fighting, you just back and forth, pop the skin off. Now this portion of skin that we cut off at first, you can take this and you peel that, just, and then you flick it over and Take off the white portion, and you got two nice little fillets. Now, this is where it's crucial, I find, that to wash it is a lot better because you're going to get the slime all off these fillets. A little extra work, but it's worth it. So then, I just take this. And you dry them off, dry the fillets off. And you'll feel that you got lots of grip on the fish. So now to take out the uh, rib cage, each side is different, but Start at the left hand side and there's more of a curvature in this rib cage than over here. This is, they're a lot straighter here. And just go underneath and just a swipe. And 
and just keep following the cage. Eventually that comes off. Now, to take out these Y bones, you flick the fillet over, wipe it down, and there's a roll of bones right above where the rib cage is. You'll see them, you can feel them with your finger. So you take your knife straight down, but just lightly, all the way down. I'm going to turn the knife upside down and let you listen to the bones. Now this is the piece right here that is attached to the backbone. That was that extra cut I made. So I'm just going to take my knife like this and sweep off the, the bones, the meat off the bones. So you, now you can just flip that over. Now you've exposed these bones. So now, where this line is, you go on the opposite side, and you press your knife, bend it, quite a bit of pressure, and then just give it a slice underneath, and it goes right underneath these Y bones. You can do it a couple times, and then you just grab like this, and you pull it. You gotta fill it. And then there's three or four bones right in the tail end here. Cut those out. You gotta fill it. And then I'll show you in the kitchen tomorrow morning what I do to make it even easier, I put them in the fridge overnight to cool down okay. the uh, face, the uh, ribs to that side. So we'll start on the left hand side of the ribs and just all right underneath. Here, the ribs are a little curved more than over here, so you just got to give a deeper cut and then underneath. So you just Carry on. Now you turn it over like this. And now that you can see these tiny little bones in here. So what you want to do is take your knife and go on the opposite side on the top side of these bones straight down but just lightly so you don't cut through the bones and then I'll show you I'll turn the knife upside down and I'll show you that we've exposed the bones now so now you take your knife and you just sweep them off those Y bones Flick that over. Now this is the portion I was talking about when I did made that extra cut when I was filleting the fish. That's what you get. Now you'll see the lateral line here. That's where you take your knife. You can put it a couple inches past the uh, fillet. Press down so your knife is bent and then what you do is just swipe it right across the fillet and your knife almost automatically goes underneath you see my knife underneath? They're going underneath those Y bones. And then you just grab it like this and you pull out all the Y bones. So now people think this fillet is boneless. Well, there's three to four bones left right in here. So what I do, cut it at the line and then you can see about four bones right in there, so you just go about a quarter inch to the left of it and sweep it like you swept those up there. And then you just cut this portion out. 
And there you go. Boneless fillet. Hope that helps. Yeah, I just want to show you an overview really slowly how I do it. I'm not going to speak a lot, but hopefully you can see all the cutting from above. I've dried the fish. It's really dry, so you got good control of the fillet. Remember to turn it over, look for your bone line. Expose the wide, sweep it off, not all the way. And you can now go here, bend your knife, and that takes it right underneath the Y bones. Pull your Y's out. And the little tiny bones in the tail.